What is up, everybody? You've joined me on another episode of The Curtis Zone, and I do nothing but thank you, all right? And we got a lot of things to discuss, more specifically today's episode. Today's episode is another top 10, and I'm giving you guys a top 10 of my favorite animes of all time. Most of the animes that are very popular amongst people around the world. Well, around the U.S. Well, among my friend zone. Yeah, yeah, among my friend zone. The reason for today's episode is because of a little bit of good news. You see, Kevin Feige has just announced that he is currently in talks with Disney to start a Dragon Ball franchise, which will include Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and so many more. And Kevin Feige has confirmed that if things go well, they will start a lot of other animes into live action. Even though I said good news, I think I speak for everyone, including myself, when I say, DAMN! Another bit of news that I want to tell you guys is that Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie are currently in the Barbie movie together, which will be coming out very, very soon. I saw the trailer for it, and I think my brother and I speak for everyone when we say, DAMN! But enough of that, alright? Let's get into today's list and kick it off with number 10. And as always, everyone, remember to hit the like and subscribe button, and as remember to give it up for today's sponsors, Nate Sanitation, because your garbage powers someone's world. And now we're gonna kick it off with number 10. I must be crazy. Kicking things off and coming in strong at number 10 is Full Metal Alchemist. It follows the story of two brothers, Edward and Alphonse, who are trying to use alchemy to bring their dead mother back to life. Instead, they botch the spell, Edward ends up with an arm and leg of metal, and Alphonse ends up in a suit of armor. So they travel around the world trying to find the Philosopher's Stone. It is a fun adventure for the entire family, and my brother and I watched it religiously with our friend Corey. And the live action version is equally as good as the anime. What I'm saying is, this is the show that you want to watch with your kids. Number 9 on our list is Ronin Warriors. It is one of those animes that took place in the early 1980s after the whole big Bruce Lee craze came in to America. Basically saying Bruce Lee brought Japanese culture over to America. It follows the story of five fantastic battle armored samurai who have to fight against the evil dynasty. It's a pretty fun show guys and I loved every second of it. Our number 8 spot goes to Knights of the Zodiac. It follows the story of Saint Seiya, an orphan who dons the bronze knight of the Pegasus and becomes a knight for the goddess Athena, a reincarnated version of her at least. He now has to help his fellow Knights of the Zodiac fight against the Black Knights, who are determined to take the gold armor Sagittarius and take over the world by destroying Athena. It's a fun show and my brother and I loved it every second of it. Number seven on our list is Case Closed. It follows the story of Detective Jimmy Kudo who becomes Detective Conan Anagawa after his body was shrunk by a criminal organization. Though his body was shrunk, his mind is still as sharp as ever. He's a very skilled detective who solves murder investigations throughout the entire series. He is such a good detective that he has a catchphrase. With a keen eye for details, only one truth prevails. It is a fun series and I loved every second of it guys and I can't wait to do a history of on it. Coming in at number 6 is IGPX, the Immortal Grand Prix. In the year 2035, the motorsport world has gone high tech. So high tech in fact that they're racing mech suits instead of cars. And for Takashi and Team Satomi, this means nothing short of competitive. So they race the IG1 in order to win. This is a very fun anime guys. I'm currently binge watching it and I cannot wait to give you guys a history of episode on it. The top five spot goes to Yu-Gi-Oh. In this anime we meet Yugi who is one of the most skilled strategists because he has the essence of the Pharaoh known as Yami Yugi. He gains this after gaining the Millennium Puzzle. I'm not gonna give you guys a full spoiler of it but I can't wait to give you guys a history of episode on Yu-Gi-Oh! and every season of Yu-Gi-Oh! Just keep waiting for that, okay? 
Number four on our list is Yu Yu Hakusho. It follows the story of spirit detective Yusuke Urameshi, who has come back from the dead in order to fight the supernatural with the help of his friends Kurama, Hiei, and Kuwabara, and briefly Botan. My favorite would have to be the tournament saga. Now the live action version wasn't as good, but it was still good enough to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, Yu Yu Hakusho. Just missing the runner-up spot is Spider Riders. There exists within the planet Earth a fantastic lost world, and within this inner world, brave warriors ride huge spiders and fight against evil as if they were gladiators. I loved it because I loved the theme song, and you guys will too because it was originally written and produced by Linkin Park. The runner-up spot goes to Cyborg 009, and like a lot of shows on this list, I used to watch it with my brother. It has been one of the most popular shows in anime history ever since its beginning in the early 2000s. It's so popular, in fact, that it got a Netflix series known as Cyborg 009 called The Justice. It follows the story of the 009 cyborgs who have been genetically and cybernetically modified in order to fight against evil with the Grey Ghost. It's a very popular anime and I loved every second of it, guys. The number one anime on everyone's list is Dragon Ball Z. Ever since its debut, it has been the number one anime in everyone's mouth. Everyone has been talking about Dragon Ball Z ever since it started. There have been many sagas within Dragon Ball Z that people have been talking about, starting with the Saiyan Saga. And I cannot wait to give you guys a history of on every single saga. Dragon Ball Z has been a part of my childhood ever since its debut. And it has been a magical thrill ride ever since then. And everybody, I cannot wait to give you a history of on it. And just like that, everybody, another episode of The Curtis Zone comes to a screeching close. But we want to thank you guys for joining us so much. Remember to always hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll hit you guys back within, with more episodes coming up. And if you guys have any requests for any history of episodes, any questions, any comments, any concerns, if you think that someone on this list should be higher or lower, leave a comment in the section located down there, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, all right? Thanks for joining us.